Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And we are going right into a big summertime weather pattern. A ridge builds across the middle part of the country. Heat is on the way up, the humidity on the way up for several days. We look outside tonight, a clear night. We can see the a little bit of the moon out there to the west and northwest of Tulsa. So a nice evening to start everything off with. The temperature right now sits at 76 degrees. The dew point at 64. Your barometric pressure 29.90. So it's uh, steady at this time. So that's not too bad, all things considered. But the big story coming up here over the next several days really is going to be all about the humidity. We've been sitting here below 60 with this dew point for the last several days. Well, now we're going to see that just kind of just inch its way up into the 60 to 65 range. Still not muggy, still not oppressive. That's yet to come as the summer goes on. We have had already a couple of days back in May where we had the dew point above uh, 74, so we had some real oppressive air. But it's great pool and lake weather with lots of sunshine and tomorrow's temperatures by 2 p.m. already reaching 88 degrees. But with that in mind, we need to drink water because we're not acclimated to this type of weather and we need to really put on the sunscreen. The UV numbers will be up around 10, so it could take 15 to 30 minutes to get a sunburn outside in that direct sunlight. Now we're going to go all week into the weekend without any chance of rain. But Sunday, maybe we get a little bit here late Sunday afternoon, Sunday night with about a tenth to almost two tenths of rain showing up across eastern Oklahoma. Better chances are headed our way once we make it into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Current lake levels not going to be too much affected by the lack of rainfall this week as all of the lakes are either normal or above uh, normal, and that is certainly a nice sight to see. 76 currently, east winds are at 3 miles an hour, the relative humidity at 67%. We might have some patchy fog in places, uh, lakes, streams, low-lying areas by tomorrow morning. But most of us will be in the 60s, uh, mostly clear skies. We will drop into the 50s at Bartlesville and Coffeyville, right around 59. 60 at Stillwell tonight, 56 at Tahlequah with a light southeasterly wind. And McAllister tonight drops to 63 with calm winds. And then during the day tomorrow, sunshine. It's a warmer morning than it was this morning or even yesterday. It's more humid by noon, 86, and very warm in the afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds, 90 degrees. 90 in Claremore, 92 at Skytook, and 92 at Pryor. Also 92 at Sepulpa and Okmulgee tomorrow with south winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. And then lower almost to mid-90s south of Interstate 40 with southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Stigler could hit 93 with bright sunny skies. Looking ahead to Broken Arrow tomorrow, 91. Very warm, just a tad more humid than it was today. So 92 tomorrow. 92 again on Thursday with all that sunshine out there. Boy, the sweat index with the humidity starts to... Just kind of creep up a little bit. Yeah, time to loosen the collar, isn't it? And you get a fan going. 93 on Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We're still in the 90s with rain chances increasing Sunday, Monday, and especially Tuesday of next week.